right? I say, shut up, I'm, I'm about to shoot. But in my case, I should really pass, but nevertheless, I would be unhappy if somebody interrupted me while I'm in that state of flow. I've always found it a joy and a privilege to share my knowledge about happiness and watch the stunning acceleration of success that flows from it. It's a, it's a thrill for me. So that's the case that we have to start from today for the argument I want to make, is that in fact the science demonstrates that success follows from happiness. <laughs> I've always had uh, roles of responsibility. I think my, my first executive role was when I was 28 and I was given 100 professionals and their managers to oversee. And it was a big challenge, but was even more so since we had this $44 million IT project that was completely remaking the business. What did Bill Gates, speaking of perpetual bliss, do with his money? He gave it away. He gave it away. $17 billion he gave away. Why did he do it? made him happy. And even all the clients I've ever coached, no matter what the task is that we're formally working on, the underlying motivation is for them to be happier. I was training my brain to look for things that were positive. I was laying down neural pathways that now over multiple years are probably pretty strong pathways. And I'm generally a pretty happy guy. And my ideal client, um, you know, whether it's a team or, or, or individuals, They've already met with some level of success in their lives and they're probably above average in terms of their happiness too. So they're just not very conscious of their happiness and how they can use that. So my job's simple. I simply put them in the driver's seat and then they steer their own way. They accelerate to their own places of success, whatever that means to them. They get to places of genuine thriving and flourishing. Anybody know what this is? What is it? Tetris. Tetris. Who played it? Oh, you're all my generation. Look at how many of you played it. He's good. He's very good. How did he get so good? He practiced. Yeah. Anything else that maybe led Dan's head to be so good? Pardon me? He must be hip. He's hip. Yeah, he was an 80s hip like all of us were too one day. He's not so hip anymore. Maybe he read some tips. Maybe he read some tips. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. I think the new thing is Mountain Dew. You're young enough, you probably know. <laughs> Red Bull. Recognizes Pat. You know, he might have a genetic predisposition to be good at this game. He might be geometrically, spatially gifted. What was happening to Dan Zed's brain as he played this game? Euphoria, enjoying he was in flow. Yeah, you bet. He's changing the physical structure of his mind. I love the way you guys watch this thing. So much fun to give this presentation. He's pretty damn good, eh? Yeah. Okay, let's let's look at another little video. <laughs> oh, I, I hate to disappoint you. I hate to disappoint you. Oh, wow. Okay, well, this one's kind of fun too. 